Hi guys, before I start this video, I want to tell you, if you ever want to ask me a question, go check out my Facebook page, Toys of the Cockamore. Let's now start the video. Hi guys, my name is Trevor and today on Toys of the Cockamore, I'm going to be reading Creepy Carrots. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and carrots grew in Kraken Hopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to sc for school. He yanked a few on his way to Lily Krakatus. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. until they started to follow him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hills. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. the soft, sister tonk, tonk, tonk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, they, there they were. The next morning, he approached the Kraken Harper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Ooh, creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. Later that night, Jasper was laying in bed and he heard it breathing, terrible, terribly breathing in there on the wall. Creepy carrots, he shouted. Dad, Dad, his dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. He searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, said his dad, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots everywhere. Everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. The first thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Kraken Shop Field. As the sun finally set across Kraken Shop Field, Jasper smiled on his way home. There were no tonk tonk. There were no carrot shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get the out of the carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Shop Field cheered. The creepy their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit will never get into the care patch again. The end.